There's a research company in uh, Danbury, Connecticut. It's called 13D Research. And they just released that the percentage of disposable income that the consumer is in debt over of the amount that they have as their total disposable income, that percentage is at 95%. Now, I read this in Richard Russell's Dow Theory newsletter, and I had to call 13D Research to verify if that was indeed a fact. <coughs> what that means to me, and what they verified to me, is that 95 out of every $100 of disposable income for the consumer is owed to debt. So that allows them to have $5 that's really their own. There's a strong complaint about a double message that's being given by this credit card granting industry. On the one hand, credit is easy, credit is inexpensive, and uh, it's very convenient. The teaser rates, the 2.4 billion solicitations last year. The double message becomes when the teaser rates end, when you miss a couple payments, uh, when um, the situation amounts to that credit becomes expensive, credit is not so easy to get, you're tapped out, you can't get a new line, you can't get another card, and the grantors are more strict. Now that is wonderful for building up this debt, but what that creates is a lot of, you know, talk about those five rapid deployment defense mechanisms, projection of blame, you know, it feeds into their denial, they get duped. So they feel a lot of anger. I have some incredible stories that I've been told. I'll just mention one of them right now. And this, I mean, there's a typical stories with uh, Generation X. They got their first credit card for $400 in college. They made a couple of payments on it, and then they got sent a gold card, and the credit was up to $7,500. A few months later, he's in severe trouble. His father's a CPA, a friend of mine. And the father finally bails him out, which he hated doing. This father had such anger that he really wished and he thought about seriously suing the credit grantor. God knows if he has any case or not. But that's the sentiment that was being generated. This same accountant has a client who's in his 60s who lost big in the real estate crash in the early 90s in Southern California. He makes still three to $400,000 annually but his portfolio is wiped out. Unfortunately, he is dependent and addicted on that lifestyle for he and his wife. So what has he been doing to finance it while he's been in the idealization defense that he's going to get back his income and his career uh, to the level that he needs to, to survive on? He has been using credit card after credit card. Because he's been a millionaire, he has unbelievable lines of credit tremendous number of gold cards. And his credit card debt, my accountant told me, is approaching $700,000, and he can't get any more. So to me, these are time bombs. And what do you think the consumer feels toward the industry when these things happen? That's my point. Now let me get into what we can do about it. 